our topic arenes and aromaticity last time we have discussed structure of benzene stability of this ring and the effect of this stability on its chemical properties now in today's lecture we will discuss other aromatic compounds other than benzenoid compounds we will see the structural features which make these compounds aromatic in nature which includes discussion of huckel's rule also and then we will discuss anti aromatic compounds which includes butadiene and octatetraene then we will discuss aromaticity of cyclopentadienyl anion and cycloheptatrienyl ketyn then we discuss nomenclature of benzene derivatives now first we discuss other aromatic compounds other than benzenoid compounds now first we take the properties structural features which make these compounds aromatic in nature so what are the essential structural features that should be present in these compounds these compounds should be cyclic and should contains conjugated pi bonds each atom in a ring should be sp2 hybridized and should contain one unhybridized p orbital there should be a effective overlapping of p orbitals and for this effective overlapping the structure must be planar then there should be a delocalization of 4n plus 2 pi electrons for example if n is 1 then total delocalization of 6 pi electron and this delocalization should lower the energy of the system and this type of compounds undergo electrophilic substitution reactions in spite of having high pi electron density these do not undergo electrophilic addition reactions like alkenes now first we see why there is a need of 4n plus 2 pi electrons for a compound to be aromatic this requirement this is known as huckel's rule which is based on quantum mechanics here the delocalization of this 4n plus 2 pi electrons gives stability to the molecule further it was found that if there is a delocalization of 4 pi, 4n pi electrons in a cyclic structure that destabilizes the molecule so here 4n plus 2 stabilizes the molecule and here 4n pi electron destabilizes the molecule and these type of molecules are known as anti aromatic compounds now to understand the 4n plus 2 pi electrons we first have to discuss or we have to first know about the polygon rule now according to this polygon rule these molecular orbitals arrange in energy wise according to they are cyclic system and it has the same polygon shape as the compound with one vertex at the bottom and the non bonding line cuts horizontally the center of the polygon for this we discuss the example of benzene we know benzene is a 4n plus 2 pi electron system where n is 1 so there is a 6p orbitals which degenerate to give rise to six new pi molecular orbitals and we have now six pi electrons this is the energy diagram for new molecular orbitals the new molecular orbitals which get formed are pi 1 pi 2 pi 3 pi 4 pi 5 and pi 6 and the energy wise these are arranged in this fashion this is the same hexagon which the benzene is having and which one with one vertex at the bottom and in the center this known bonding line is there so now filling of this molecular orbitals taking place according to of wo principle and hund's rule now there are six pi electrons so first two electrons goes in pi 1 then two electrons in pi 2 and then two electrons in pi 3 so all bonding orbitals get filled up first there is no electron in non bonding and all the electrons are paired in bonding so that's why the benzene structure is stable 
Next example we take cyclobutadiene. Now experimentally it was found that heat of hydrogenation of cyclobutadiene is minus 91 kilocalorie per mole which is more than the double of heat of hydrogenation of cyclobutene. That means this system is more energetic even than cyclobutene even though there is a delocalization of these two pi bonds each carbon is sp2 hybrid each carbon is having one unhybridized p orbital with one electron but in benzene as in we see in benzene there is a stabilization by 36 kilocalorie per mole but here the energy of this system is more now what is the reason again we consider there is a energy diagram of new molecular orbitals so here four new molecular orbitals will be generated pi 1 pi 2 pi 3 and pi 4 and filling of orbitals taking place they are 4 pi electrons so 2 pi electrons in pi 1 then pi 2 and pi 3 these are two non bonding orbitals so these two get 1 1 electron each now see here these electrons are unpaired so due to this unpairing of electron this system get destabilizes and that is the reason why this system is more energetic in spite of having delocalized pi electrons. We discuss one more example of cyclo octa tetraene. Here again we see heat of hydrogenation should be 4 times of heat of hydrogenation of cyclo octene which is minus 23 kilocalorie but it is uh, for cyclo octa tetraene this energy is more than the 4 times that means again this system is not stable. If we see the structure here again it is a cyclic system having conjugated pi bonds and there is a delocalization of this pi electrons and it is a planar one. Now again we see this molecular orbital diagram energy wise now there are 8 p orbitals so this gives new 8 molecular orbitals and these 8 new molecular orbitals arrange in cyclooctane with one vertex at the bottom and non bonding line in the middle. Now we have pi 1, pi 2, pi 3, pi 4, pi 5, pi 6, pi 7 and pi 8. So there are 8 pi electrons so 2 pi electrons in pi 1, 2 in pi 2, 2 in pi 3. So all the bonding orbitals are filled we are left with 2 electrons. So 2 electrons 1, 1, 1 each in 2 non bonding orbitals again here single electrons are present which are not paired. So that is why again uh, due to this unpairing of electrons the system is not stable. So we have seen cyclobutadiene and cyclooctatetraene are not stable in spite of having a delocalized pi electrons but those system contains 4 and pi electrons and reason is unpairing of electrons. Now we next take aromatic ions. First we uh, take cyclobentadienyl anion. Now see here these, this is a cyclobentane ring having 2 double bonds and a negative charge. So there is a each carbon here is again sp2 hybridized and each carbon is having four, uh, one unhybridized p orbital. Four carbons are having one electron in each p orbit unhybridized p orbital but fifth carbon which is bearing a negative charge having a pair of electron in its unhybridized p orbital. So in total there are six pi electrons present which is a Huckel's number. So that is why this cyclobentadienyl anion is aromatic in nature. We can see here there is a overlapping of p orbitals it is a planar structure 2 electrons 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there is a delocalization of 6 pi electrons and we see here these resonating structures and this is a resonance hybrid of cyclopentadienyl anion and this also reflects in cyclopentadiene 
molecule also. It is very acidic in nature, why? Because on losing proton it gives cyclopentadienyl anion which is aromatic in nature and it is stable. So, that is why cyclopentadiene molecule is acidic in nature. Now, next ion will take cycloheptatrienyl cation which is also known as tropilium ion. It is a 7 carbon chain. Again here we have a 3 conjugated double bonds with 1 positive charge which is also in conjugation with this double bonds. So, now here we have 7 sp2 hybridized carbon atoms, 6 carbons are having 1 unhybridized p orbital with 1 electron each while the 7th carbon which one is bearing positive charge having empty unhybridized p orbital. So, we are having a delocalization of 6 pi electrons over 7 carbons. So, this is a delocalization of p orbitals and here you can see the resonating structures of this cycloheptatrienyl cation and this is a resonance hybrid. So, again here there is a delocalization of 6 pi electrons which is a Huckel's number and that gives stability to the system and this also reflects in tropelium bromide. Tropelium bromide as such is an organic compound, but it, is, it behaves like a ionic compound. It is having a high melting point. Why? Because tropelium ion is very stable. So, that is why it is a ionic compound more as compared to covalent. Now, we can discuss the aromaticity of following ions also. Now, first is cyclopropenium ion which is a 3 membered cyclic ring. It is having a positive charge in conjugation with this double bond. So, each carbon is sp2 hybridized and each is having one unhybrid p orbital. These two p orbitals of these two carbons are having 1 1 electron each and this p orbital is empty. So, there is a delocalization of this positive charge in this ring and this de delocalization involves 2 pi electrons which is again a Huckel's number corresponding to n is equal to 0. So, this is also aromatic ion. Now, cyclopentadienyl cation in this we have a 5 member cyclic compound and this positive charge is in conjugation with this double bonds, but here again delocalization involves only 4 pi electrons. So, this is again anti aromatic not aromatic. Cycloheptatrienyl anion, here negative charge is in conjugation with this 3 pi, uh, pi double bonds. So, but here it is just like so, uh, cyclooctatetraene delocalization of 8 pi electrons. So, that is why it is also not a stable structure. So, this is again anti aromatic. So, now we have discussed what are the different conditions which are required for a compound to be an aromatic. So, by applying those conditions we can discuss the cyclic compounds with conjugated double bonds whether these compounds are aromatic in nature or not. So, now next we will discuss the nomenclature of benzene derivatives. So, first mono substituted benzene derivatives. These derivatives are named first by writing the name of substituent followed by the word benzene. For example, if bromine is attached to benzene then this is known as bromobenzene. With chlorine this is known as chlorobenzene. With nitro group this is known as nitrobenzene. With ethyl group this is known as ethyl benzene. Now, with the second type of nomenclature in this derivatives Mostly these common, these are named according to their common names and not by IUPAC names. For example, if benzene ring is attached to OH group, then this is known as phenol, while its IUPAC is benzenol. With methyl group, methyl benzene, but this is known as cholvene. Uh, with amino group, instead of benzene amine, this is known as aniline. 
with OCS3 group this is known as anisole not methoxybenzene with COCS3 group instead of methylphenyl ketone we call commonly as acetophenone with CHO group this is known as benzaldehyde with COH group this is known as benzoic acid. Now if benzene ring is present as a substituent then this is known as a phenyl group for example if this is present in this aliphatic chain number 2 position this is an alcohol number 2 position this benzene ring is present so this is known as 2 phenyl ethanol if with benzene a CH2 group is also present then this group is known as benzyl group for example this this molecule is known as benzyl bromide one more nomenclature we can use AR in general this is a general term for a phenyl group or a substituted phenyl group for example for phenols normally we can use AROH this is a substituted phenol having BR this is having CS3 and this is unsubstituted phenol but all these we can simply write for all this AROH AR means aryl which is common for all these substituted benzene ring now for disubstituted benzenes these are named according to the prefix ortho meta and para which specify the substitution pattern for example if substitutions are present on 1 and 2 position for example chlorine chlorine on 1 2 position then this is known as ortho dichloro benzene if the substituents are present at 1 3 1 3 dichloro benzene so this is called as meta dichloro benzene if substituents are present at 1 and 4 then this is known as para dichloro benzene if we have more than two substituents in the benzene ring then we simply give numbering to the benzene ring and give the number to the substituents which are present according to the positions for example 2 4 6 tribromoaniline means at number 1 position an H2 group is present and number 2 4 and 6 bromine atoms are present another example we can take 2 4 dinitrotolvene in that case number 1 position methyl group is present and number 2 and 4 nitro groups are present so this is the nomenclature of benzene so what we have discussed today we have discussed today structural features which are needed for a compound to be an aromatic compound we discussed the aromaticity of other compounds which are not benzenoid in nature and we discussed also anti-aromatic compounds and how to name different benzene compounds in the next lecture we will discuss the electrophilic substitution reactions of benzene with their mechanism that is we will discuss how electrophiles get generated and how this electrophile get attacked the benzene ring and then how we get back the benzene